Ladies and gentlemen, you can type H.A. Goodman and Federalist, and you can see my author page on The Federalist. I'm very, very honored to be published there. I've been published in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, uh, other publications, but The Federalist is fantastic. And there's an article I wrote. You can type in H.A. Goodman Federalist, or you can go to hagoodman.com, and it's it was written in 2019, okay, long before I wrote the article predicting the stock market crash and all the terrible economic disasters we're facing today, and we're heading into it, we're going to experience a devastating stock market crash. So that article's below in the pinned comment. But another article that's below in the description that you can see on my website, hagoodman.com, or you could go to my author page, H.A. Goodman, and then Federalist uh, on Google, Comey and McCabe should be charged with conspiring to defraud Americans. There is a legal statute that is bolstered by the factual background of all of the indictments. And it's 18 U.S. Code 371. Each one of the indictments, especially Michael Sussman, the three indictments within the Durham probe have a factual background. Sussman tried to throw out the factual background within his indictment. He tried to say, well, no, that's not, that's not relevant you can't, you can't uh, bring up the fact that I was paid to obtain all this information on Trump and I, was, I gave that information to the Bureau and then they initiated investigations into an incoming president. You can't, and, and then the whole thing, every factual background leads to James Comey and McCabe and Strzok and a whole bunch of people. But every factual background within the indictment within the three indictments, lead to the director, the former director of the Bureau. Okay? Every time Durham indicts somebody, he explains within the indictment that they were setting up and framing Trump, and at the end of the day, the top echelon of the nation's top law enforcement agency willingly utilized information purchased by his direct political rival to go after and knew that the information was nonsense. You can't simply hide what you, like, okay, I, I explained in my segment prior to this one. You, um, you, can't, you can't simply say, well, I didn't know, like, Comey can't say that I didn't know that Clinton purchased a steel dossier. It was well known. Everyone knew. So you don't, like, it's not going to be difficult for it's not going to be difficult for uh, Durham, especially after the Sussman case or trial, because Sussman's going to say, "Hey, James Baker knew." So that's what ha- what's happening with the th- with the third indictment, which will lead to more indictments. James Baker at the bureau is saying that, "Well, I didn't know that Michael Sussman." gave me a dossier that was purchased by the Clinton campaign in the Democratic National Committee. I had no idea. I mean, you know, what? maybe he was going to say, oh, I was a Bernie Sanders fan. I had no clue. Well, if he actually was a Bernie Sanders fan, he would have known. <laughs> but well, I don't know what James Baker, James Comey's top legal counsel at the Bureau is going to say, In you know, because Sussman is indicted because he lied to the bureau James Baker about the origin about getting paid by Clinton okay he gave alpha bank information complete nonsense a bogus story that Jake Sullivan is a part of also that's the link to Hunter and to the presidency so Durham the Durham probe doesn't have to go far he they have Jake Sullivan there to link them to president mashed potato brains that's the way a special counsel works that's how you get a blue dress from Watergate but the factual background in each of these indictments points directly to the top of the food chain. It's not difficult. It's not difficult to, to kind of see what's going on. And James Comey, under 18 U.S. Code 371, the statute that they're going after Trump with, that I wrote about in The Federalist, the statute that they're trying to go after Trump is actually directly relevant to everything they've done. They did not investigate Trump in an apolitical manner, focused only on national security and not partisanship. That is a lie. Hit subscribe, by the way, to this channel. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. It's below in the pinned comment. 
And if you want to support my work, my Patreon is below. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much. We're almost at 196,000 subs. Let's get to 200,000 subscribers. And so you have a situation, ladies and gentlemen, where every indictment points directly to Comey and McCabe and Strzok and others. But James Comey was the top of the food chain, the head of everything. And he was the one who tried to intimidate Trump using a dossier that was purchased by Clinton. Right when, when President Trump event, defeated Clinton his first day in the Oval Office, or actually before he even got into the Oval Office, it was with President Obama. Comey said, oh, well, we have this unverified dossier. Well, they would never have done that with any other incoming candidate. If somebody says to you at work, you know, we have this um, folder and it's about all the bad things you've ever done. Gee, we, we just want to uh, make sure that you know that we're investigating all of those bad things that you might have done that all the people who don't like you in this, in this corporation said you did. So they completely set up and framed and they took the entire country on a never-ending, you know, chase. It was, they, they defrauded, they conspired to defraud the United States of America. They say that Trump did that, but he didn't. <laughs> He actually didn't plan to overthrow democracy. That's why they have to, like, two years into it, they have nothing on him. Trump didn't uh, have a back channel through Alpha Bank. They literally fabricated that. Trump wasn't installed by the Kremlin. They purchased that myth. Trump didn't have uh, issues with his tax returns. Trump didn't elevate the uh, value, valuation of his uh, real estate. They can't get him on anything they cannot get him on anything. Trump didn't pressure individuals in other states, breaking the law. They're in, when Democrats want to, they're investigating uh, numerous Republican uh, congressmen. They found nothing. They just want to go ahead and use their political power to investigate. Then they'll talk about lofty ideals, about systemic issues and injustices. They don't care about those injustices. You see the greatest economic injustices and inequalities taking place under their watch. Go to any Democratic-run major city in this country. Go. You can see. You see these injustices taking place all the time, and they're under Democrats, but that's okay. Then the people who aren't into, into politics read the New York Times, and, and they say, oh, well, things are great now. They think, I'm sure there are Democrats who think this is a booming economy, like MSNBC said. It's a wonderful economy. Oh, yeah, inflation is soaring through the roof. But Trump was the worst president ever, okay? Trump was a horrible president. We had an amazing economy. We, had, we were uh, energy independent. Now we're, uh, uh, Biden has to pump strategic oil reserves and jettison all his uh, noble climate change uh, goals. I mean, these, these people have no clue what they're doing. And they're the ones who think that, oh, my God, the crazies are voting for Trump. And Trump is an authoritarian. Trump doesn't care what you say or do. It's Democrats that silence and marginalize and, and try to erase people from history or cancel them or all these things. It's like the authoritarians are the, are, are the ones who project. They're on the le The projection is coming from the left. The epicenter of corruption used to be the Republican Party 20 years ago. It's now the Democratic Party. And they have media as an extension. That's how they... When they went ahead, the Inspector General report, when the Inspector General of the DOJ said, oh, well, you know, um, well, you know, uh, there was no uh, overt bias, except they list, he listed endless bias. He said, he listed... He explained that media, that journalists were meeting with FBI officials, and those officials were feeding lies to the journalists, and the journalists were pumping lies into the, into, uh, to the United States of America, and it all started at the top. Then, then Comey went after McCabe for leaking information. Uh, <laughs> when McCabe leaked memos... Though a couple of which were already classified, and he didn't get in trouble for that. And so you have like these people are they've been running around with like impunity. The Durham probe special counsel doesn't need much though, okay? He's already on record, Comey, as saying he didn't know the Clinton that the, the dossier was purchased or 
compiled by Clinton and the DNC. That's a lie. He knew that. He's the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Of course he knew that. He knew, he knew everything there was to know. And it's not going to be difficult to find documents or testimony from Durham, especially during these indictments, that show that, that, that of course, Comey knew the obvious. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. I'll be back in about a